The structure of DNA shows scientists that it is not the result of an accident. The DNA in a single human cell contains enough information to fill a whole 900 volume encyclopedia. Gene Myers, a scientist from the Celera company which administers the Human Genome Project says this, what really astounds me is the architecture of life. The system is extremely complex. It's like it was designed. There's a huge intelligence there. The astonishment affects the whole scientific world. Scientists are viewing with surprise the invalidity of the materialist philosophy and Darwinism, which they were taught as truth. And some of them are declaring this openly. In his book, Darwin's Black Box, one of these figures, the American professor of biochemistry, Michael Behe, describes the situation of the scientific world like this. Over the past four decades, modern biochemistry has uncovered the secrets of the cell. The progress has been hard won. It has required tens of thousands of people to dedicate the better parts of their lives to the tedious work of the laboratory. The result of these cumulative efforts to investigate the cell, to investigate life at the molecular level, is a loud, clear, piercing cry of design. The result is so unambiguous and so significant that it must be ranked as one of the greatest achievements in the history of science. But no bottles have been uncorked, no hands clapped. Why does the scientific community not greedily embrace its startling discovery? The dilemma is that while one side of the issue is labeled intelligent design, the other side must be labeled God. The same situation exists in astronomy. The astronomy of the 20th century has demolished the materialist theories of the 19th. First, with the Big Bang Theory, it emerged that the universe had a beginning, the moment of creation. Since then, it has been realized that in the universe, there is an extraordinarily delicate balance which protects human life. For these reasons, in the world of physics and astronomy, atheism is in rapid decline. As American physicist Robert Griffiths jokingly remarks, if we need an atheist for a debate, I go to the philosophy department. The physics department isn't much use. In short, in our day and age, materialist philosophy is collapsing. Science is rediscovering certain very important facts rejected by materialist philosophy. And in this way, a new concept of science is being born. The intelligent design theory which has been on a rapid rise in the United States of America during the past 10 years is a leading part of this new scientific concept. Those who accept this theory say that Darwinism was the greatest error in scientific history and that there is an intelligent design in nature which gives proof of creation. For example, the famous Australian microbiologist Michael Denton states that the complex organs of living things cannot be explained by evolution. And this is a very profound question which everybody skirts, everybody brushes over, everybody tries to sweep under the carpets. The fact is that the majority of these complex adaptations in nature cannot be adequately explained by, by a that their, 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 their emergence occurred by a, a series of intermediate forms. Um, and this is in fact something which, in fact, as far as I'm concerned, this is a fundamental problem. And uh, the fact that there are so many of these things, for me, okay, there's something wrong with the theory. Common sense tells me there must be something wrong.
The famous German biologist Werner Gitt explains how genetic information in living things proves the creation in these terms. It is impossible that new information is coming from a random process. If you see a computer program, it needs a programmer. If you see a car, it needs a designer. If you see the biological information in the cells, then you must say that is the right conclusion. It needs a creator who has made the program, the genes, to create the proteins, to create the organs. It is necessary that we have this. So we can say evolution is an impossible process. The American professor of biochemistry, Michael Behe, explains why the creation is a scientific fact. I think the conclusion of design is a scientific one, an empirical one, based completely on the observable system, the universe and life were intended, that they are the product of intelligent activity. And I'd just like to point out that this reason, or this idea comes from the progress of science. It is not from not what we do not know, but is rather from what we have learned over the past 50 years. The American philosopher Philip Johnson summarizes the conclusion science has reached like this. That we are here as the products of an intelligent creator that brought about our existence for a purpose. Our existence and that of other living things was due to the conscious, purposeful activity of a creator. God created the entire universe, and the whole of creation shows humanity the signs of God. Science is the method of investigating what has been created, so conflict between religion and science is out of the question. On the contrary, Islam encourages science. The major scientific advances in Islamic history clearly show the importance of this encouragement. Today, the 19th century theories which tried to confuse science with materialist philosophy have lost their validity. Humanity will shortly understand clearly that God created the entire universe and all living things. Science provides evidence of this creation. And the Quran, which brought the news of this truth 14 centuries ago, leads the way to science. It is a book we have sent down to you, full of blessing. So let people of intelligence ponder its signs and take heed. This is my path, and it is straight, so follow it. Do not follow other ways, or you will become cut off from his way. That is what he instructs you to do, so that hopefully you may do your duty.